Hey guys, this is just going to be a quick little unboxing video showcasing my new funnel web spiders. Hope you enjoy. First up is this big female Hadronic Eva Suta, the Blue Mountains funnel web. Now as you can see, she's very big and heavily built and those fangs are truly enormous. So amazing spider to look at and definitely one of my favorite species to keep. She also seems pretty chill, especially by funnel web standards, and she just slumps out of the box, not a care in the world. So yeah, she just plops straight in on her back. Sweet. And now we can see her in all her glory, a sight to behold for sure. But apart from her lazy backflip into the enclosure, she wasn't willing to show us any action, so um, after a quick little photo shoot, I decided to leave her to it. This is another Hadronic Eva Suta, and as you'll see very soon, she is more of a brownish colour as opposed to the typical black, which is quite unique, albeit not overly rare. And of course, that bloated sack of an abdomen is the first sight that greets me. The reason some funnel webs exhibit brown or in some cases even dark red coloration is not very well understood. Perhaps it's due to genetics or perhaps it's due to environmental factors. It could even be a combination. Reality is no one really knows yet. Now here we can see her rather pathetic attempt at escaping. Like you can't even climb, you're a disgrace to the spider world so stop showing it off. And that's the thing with funnel webs. People assume just because of their venom potency that they're going to be something that's super high risk to keep it. Quite frankly, as long as you have an enclosure taller than they are, you're laughing. There's literally nothing they can do to get out. And not only are they absolutely crap at climbing, but they can't jump either. So you're not likely to find any funnel webs at QSAC, the um, uh, Queensland Spiders Athletic Center. And now, after having her physical abilities roasted for a bit, she decides it's time to hide. Now we're moving on to Hadronici nimula, a closely related species that bears a very strong resemblance. This is, again, another large female, and unlike the previous funnel web, exhibits the typical black coloration. And just like the first one, she just casually rolls into the enclosure. Like, come on ladies, you're the most feared spiders in Australia, so put on a show or something. Jesus. And maybe she heard me trash talking the other spider's escape attempt, because she's not moving a muscle. Smart choice on her behalf. Instead, she seems to be having a staring contest with me, which is kinda cheaty because spiders don't even have eyelids. Nevertheless, her refusal to move allowed me to get some pretty good close-ups. Now for the fourth and final of today's funnel webs, another Hadronici nimula. As is quite common when you're unboxing these animals, she is being rather clingy to the moss that came with her in the packing, and required a little bit of extra persuasion to make her let go. After that, it was threat pose time. Finally, thought I was going to go through an entire funnel web unboxing without a single threat pose. That would have been unheard of, quite frankly. But yeah, this girl is definitely angry and quite clearly wants to scare me. So here's a deal, funnel webs. When you can learn to actually climb like most other spiders, then I'll be scared of you. Until then, it's not happening. So that's that for this video. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.